compare our pregnancy class to making you into a nice strong mama. Um, so today it's going to be a few harder ones, stepping it out from pregnancy class one, um, which is a good thing to keep ourselves strong, to keep ourselves fit and mobile and check out the kind of stretching and um, mobility class as well. It's only sort of a 10-15 minute one, which is a really good one to just keep you nice and stretched. So to start with, step the toes out, step the heels out, and we're going to come into some nice simple calf raises. Pumping through the calves, we're going to rise onto the toes and releasing. Rising and lowering. Good and really lovely one for ankle stability and ankle support and working into those calves. So let's take it a little bit faster. Rising and lowering. Pumping the heat into the legs. We're feeling it. And then on your next one, we need to hold and swivel the heels back together. So you're in that sort of ballet first position, or making a little slice, whichever analogy you'd rather use. So as you turn the feet out, the legs sort of naturally engage, particularly through the backs of the legs and more into the glutes. You're going to try and do the same again, but imagine you've got a five pound note between your heels. You're going to gently try and rise and lower, rise and lower. Okay, a bit of a tough one, is your point pad note still there? Often quite a lot of people find this one quite hard. Just lift one heel, 
switching between the legs, just walking out through the feet, keeping the hips nice and still. And I'm going to add in a little march. I'm going to lift the leg, switching lift into a bit of a balance. If you find you feel a bit of pelvic girdle pain, then you can just keep switching. You don't have to lift the leg. You don't have to come onto one leg if that feels uncomfortable. If you get any amount of pain, there's no right or wrong.
progressively increasing weight to hold. <laughs> so take a nice breath in, exhale lower, head comes between the hands, inhale to press. if you want to, so you can come down pulse one, two, and press. Come down pulse one, two, and press. Last couple, let's do two more. working to the triceps. Now tricep press-ups are really, really tough. Um, I'm going to show you first and there's a few easier modifications. Okay, so triceps back to the arms. If you don't know where they are, you hopefully will after these ones. So from that position that you were in, this time instead of coming down straight, I want you to move the hands back under the shoulders so that as you come down the head comes over the hands. The elbows squeeze in next to you and point back. Elbows squeeze into your waist and back. It is tough. Notice head over the hands, not here. Okay, not here. Almost as if you're going to face plant the floor. So you may want to just do a few half range ones. Just come down and press. So you can feel it in the back of the arms. Elbows squeeze into your waist and release. Easier option. Make a diamond. Bring the diamond under your head, coming down and up. So as you rotate the hands in, you engage a bit more into the triceps. Okay, let's give it a go. So I'm going to show you here. As if you want to dive forward, if you're in a harder option. kneeling. If you want to grab a cushion or something under the knees, you can. So taking the knees hip width apart, again another lovely sort of birthing position as well as sort of hands and knees, just keeping yourself mobile. I'm going to just do a couple of breathing practices working from low kneeling to high kneeling. If you've got any problems with the knees or this is uncomfortable on that flexion of the ankles, you don't have to come back that low. We're going to be working low kneeling to high but as you come forwards just make sure you're not over thrusting with the hips okay so keep the hands rested on the hips you're going to sink down and then with an exhale breath you're going to push forwards inhale relax exhale really try and have that nice forceful exhalation engaging those core muscles Breathing through your mouth. And you may well find if you've done any reading so far with the breath in labour, that often sort of when you're having contractions, that actually that exhale breath through your mouth helps you get through. Inhale to relax. So you can almost imagine doing this almost a bit slower but we're gonna just speed it up a little bit now. Working through the legs, keeping that control, up and down, up and down. Pumping through the front of the legs, lovely one to get the thighs working. We're feeling it. Yes, I am, 
anyway. And then on your next one, coming up to the top, stay up at the top. I'm gonna face you. Bring the arms out in front. Take a nice breath in. Exhale, open with one arm. Inhale, close. Exhale, open with the other arm. Inhale, close. On your next one, just float the arm up and over. Up and over. Stabilizing through the rest of the body. Keeping the legs working, keeping the core working. And then on your next one, sweeping downwards, opening behind you. And then relaxing, keep the arm to shape up. So a bit like we did in our squat position with our hundreds, almost, but with our breaststroke arms, we're going to focus on switching on and off through the pelvic floor muscles. Now there's a lot of harp on about getting good strong pelvic floor muscles, which is true, but also what's probably more important is being able to fully relax. It's very hard. So for example, just try now, zipping through those pelvic floor muscles, engaging, and now completely switching them off. When you engage with the pelvic floor muscles, just do a bit of a test, almost put your hands on your bottom for a minute, bear with me, engage through the pelvic floor muscles, and hopefully these did not tense up your bottom cheeks. We don't want to be butt squeezers. Butt's nice and relaxed, zipping up, and then fully relaxing. Okay, so we're going to add that into our hundreds. Get if this is uncomfy, your knees coming to standing, coming to sitting. You're going to breathe in, five while you relax and then exhale for five tightening through the pelvic floor muscles inhale relax exhale inhale exhale turning on and turning off if the arms are putting you off you can do it without inhale five Drawing in, exhale, switching off, inhale, exhale. And the good thing is that pelvic floor muscles is I can't tell if you're doing it or not. <laughs> it's only down to you to know. Last couple. pelvic floor muscles is a really good thing to do. You can practice slowly like that, the slowish. You can do faster in, off, or on, off, on, off. So play around, it's good to keep that control. Obviously, as you get more and more pregnant, progressing towards 40 weeks, baby's heavier, there's a lot of weight bearing down on the pelvic floor. So it's good to keep that nice and strong, and particularly afterwards, um, even if there's no sort of external tearing or damage to down below, um, your pelvic floor still sustains a little bit of damage. So we still need to work really hard. And actually, even if you've had a C-section um, or you have a C-section, there's still damage to the pelvic floor. So you still need to strengthen that and work on that. But it'll all be worth it. At least I can tell myself that. And um, coming down onto your side, resting. You can come up on that elbow if you want to, engaging through those lats and obliques, or you can come down onto that bottom arm if you want to work a little bit less or you want to relax through the head and back. From here, stretching out that top leg, and I want you to begin to sweep the leg forwards and back. Nice and calm. Thinking about a nice calm ocean rather than a wavy, stormy ocean with the foot. Gliding it along almost the pendulum 
with the leg. And then see if you can draw the knee up and back. Draw the knee up and back. If you're up on the elbow, just check the elbow is in a nice position for the shoulder. Drawing up and back. Up and back. And then in your next one, extend, begin to just lift and lower. This is the tough work. We're lifting. Lowering. If that gets too much, bend the knee and do it. Shorten the lever up and down. And then last on this side, it's a bit of a tough one around the hip. I want you to gently circle. I'm going to draw 10 circles clockwise, 10 anti clockwise. Feel the burn. It's all, it's all good. It would all be worth it. Change direction, so clockwise, anti-clockwise circles. The rest of the body and the pelvis stay nice and still. And then rest down. Good. Feel burn. Swapping sides. Coming to the other side. Again, resting down on that elbow or down on the arm. If you're up on the elbow, make sure it's a nice position for the shoulder. Extending the leg and begin to sweep forwards and back. Sweeping forwards and back. And then driving the knee up. Drawing the knee in towards the chest, watching out for the bump, drawing the knee in and extending. Gentle lift through the pelvic floor muscles, bringing the hands just in front. Coming onto our swimming arms and legs. So we're going to do the opposite arm, opposite leg. Taking a nice breath in as you prepare. Exhale, reaching opposite arm, opposite leg away. Inhale. I'm just going to do a couple of those. Trying to make yourself as long as you can, rather than lifting too high. And then instead of extending straight, this time I want you to extend to the corners of your mat. Okay, so you're extending to the corners of your mat. If you're not using a mat, you're just on the carpet, 45 degrees out of the diagonal. Reaching our leg away, hold. 
holding and breathing. Don't be in too much of a rush to get onto those circles and circling. Last one, a bit of rotation as well as working into the lats and obliques. Bring yourself over back onto one side, propping yourself up on the elbow. Now, options here you can do it from the forearm, you can do it up on the hands, you can even do it with the hips kept down. So, let me walk you through. Coming to our thread the needle, easiest option. From here, we're going to thread the arm under into a nice little twist, trying to look underneath our armpit and opening. You can lift the hips off the floor, threading the arm under and gently opening. Or you can come up on the hand if that's okay. Position for your wrist, move the hand just out from underneath the shoulders, threading under, gently opening. in your breath. It's a nice little tough one. And on your next one, just hold for the top, holding, breathing, smiling. And then releasing, resting down. Bring that arm at the just loosen off the wrist, pull the arm over the one that you were resting on, loosen off. And then releasing, swapping over to the other side. Again, your options, you can keep the hips down on the floor as you thread under. If you're doing any amount of weight bearing, just check it's a nice position of the elbow of the hand as you come up, running under, opening, or up on the hand. Okay, up to you. If you're on the hand, move it a bit further out from underneath you. Three under, and opening. Exhale. Let's see if you can flex the foot. 
foot, pull the toes towards you, push the heel away. Stretching into the calf. Mermaid stretch, bring the feet straddle to one side. If that's uncomfy, just sit legs straight, you'll find a chair. Reaching up with the arm to go in the same direction as where the legs are going, reaching over, feeling that nice deep stretch down one side of the body. Try not to move the hips. We're just going to rotate with the upper body. And back to the centre. So try and resist the urge to twist with the hips as well. So you get that lovely spine twist. stretch. We did a little back on the legs, so give them a nice stretch off. Feel free to hold the wall or chair or someone. Okay, 
sing, crossing one leg behind and just gently push the hips to that side, stretching down the outside of that leg. circles as big or as small as you like. And then come back to the centre. Crossing the arms over and just gently reach the arms away. a nice shake off. Let's take three breaths in and out together. So nice big breath in, reach the arms up and breath out. And again, breath in and out. One more with a calf raise, so rising on the toes, onto the tippy toes, reaching up tall and exhaling slowly coming down, resetting the shoulders. Let the head float nice and tall. And well done, give yourself a little clap. Good work, well done. That was a little bit of a step up from class one. Um, but feel free to mix between the two and stay tuned for more classes coming. And the strength, the um, stretch and mobility one is a really good kind of accompaniment, accompaniment or just on its own. Well done and good luck with everything.